First of all, what's up with the amazing Puerto Rican fans? <laughs> They are the best fans ever. On my way back yesterday from the restaurant, they had a huge flag of the Puerto Rican flag in the Walk of Fame, which is my favorite part of the day, the hallway that we have to go to our rooms. And it's amazing. Of course, we are in Florida. A lot of Puerto, Rico, Puerto Ricans are living here. There's a huge community. So it, it actually feels like I'm home. And they're amazing. Um, I mean, they're loud. <laughs> they are very loud. They're loud and crazy. Yes, we are loud, but I think it's just how we express the love and passion that we have for beauty queens and beauty pageants and more than that for the people that represent our country. It makes us really shine. We're a tiny island, but we're proud of who we are. Why is it? What, what is it about the pageant world that they, you, know, you think they, you love so much? I think it's about celebrating women in general and in my case, Puerto Rican women. Uh, the Miss Universe is a platform that for the entire history, it's about celebration of women, but we've seen a transition. It was before about how beautifully physically a woman was, and now there's a lot more opportunity to consider the integrity of a woman as a whole you know, human being. And I think that's something that inspires a lot of people, and that's something that a lot of people feel happy to celebrate. Was that something that you responded to? Obviously, you're beautiful, but that idea that there's so much more to a woman and you can um, make so, so much more of an impact in the world with your beauty in, in lots of different ways to help people. Yeah, definitely. I think when we talk about beauty, well, I actually see beauty as a privilege that we don't often talk about. Because when we talk about beauty, if you meet the standard of what's, what's to be beautiful, you often get a lot of trust, you often get a lot of acknowledgement, better treatment sometimes. And I think we need to be very aware of that and learn and think, how am I going to use that to precisely give a good message and to inspire people to see more than just physics. And I think it's a challenging part because with beauty standards, there's always this experience of maybe intimidation from other people. So it's always a challenge of thinking me as a queen, how am I going to make it so that people feel comfortable enough to want to get to know me and to want to get to know my story and to want to get to do their own path as well in whatever it is that they feel passionate for. And how then do you adjust when you're dealing with people, um, you know, in the regular world, how do you adjust your approach to sort of gain confidence, trust, you know, get their support? What do you do? I think it's about keeping in mind that even though you're carrying a title and there is a responsibility with it, there is a huge need to connect with people. And to connect with people, you need to be real. You need to be aware of the struggles of your community. You need to know what are their needs. And if you have that on your back, then you for sure will be able to connect with anyone. What are some of the moments in your you know, Miss Puerto Rico reign, some of the moments that have been really special to you? Oh, I, I have to say, I've been loving the rehearsals. Uh, before coming here, I got the chance to work with a famous choreographer in Puerto Rico, you know, just to work on my presence and on stage. And now that we are rehearsing and doing the dances for the music Pitbull will be singing, I have been having a blast. And I love that because it really has showed me that I had many things that I didn't even know that I could enjoy and do well. And I think that's one of the positive things of this platform. It's not only about, okay, this is me, this is my, to my story, this is what I've done. It's also about, hey, this is me, and I didn't know I could do that, and here I am doing it. So it's very, very inspiring. So would you say, you know, being Miss Puerto Rico and this process, you've discovered things about yourself? Yes, it's been a beautiful journey of a lot of sincerity with myself. Sometimes, it was about discovering parts of myself that I didn't know, like the dancing. And sometimes it was about coming back to my most genuine being. And of course, facing the vulnerabilities that you have to face when you are a public figure and when you have so much pressure and so many expectations, not only from your team and the people that are in this sector, but also from people that don't necessarily follow pageants and that therefore have a stricter and rougher view on how you should be as a leader and as a woman nowadays. A small little island but a very rabid fan base. <laughs> Do you feel the pressure of Puerto Rico behind you and you know I feel a lot of confidence and strength 
and it has always been like that since they appointed me Miss Universe Puerto Rico. We've had such a beautiful legacy in the pageantry industry and last two years we made it big with Chiara Liz going to the top five and Madison last year going to first runner up. So what I feel it's a lot of motivation and a lot of security that we have a team of people in Puerto Rico that are very passionate about what they do. So I don't feel pressure. I just feel super excited to be able to contribute to that legacy Puerto Ricans have. Wonderful. I don't want to keep you from rehearsal, but I do want to ask you one more question. Yes. What do you think, coming through this Miss Universe sort of process this week, meeting some wonderful people, making some new friendships, what do you think you'll sort of think and feel and learn about yourself coming out the other side? There was always going to be a moment of doubt when you are in any kind of situation in life that you have to prove yourself to yourself. It's not about proving yourself to others, but about yourself. And these weeks have been, well, this week, it feels like these weeks that we've been working so hard, but it has been about that as well. And one of the things that I've appreciated is how I behave and how I think of myself in regards to the other girls that are competing with me. And it has offered a moment for me to review and rethink how I want to spend this week, how I want to interact with the girls that I feel, oh my God, she could actually win. And I think it's about being sincere at heart and trying to enjoy the best moment of my life because this is pretty much one of the best experiences in life. And I, I am very proud. I'm very proud that I'm here.